What's up, you bunch of idiots? Uh, welcome to another edition of Rudiments 101. This time we are going to do the single drag tap. That sounds kind of weird, huh? Because everybody's into flams and rolls and single strokes and all that stuff. But the um, single drag tap, I'm going to play it and then I'm going to show you some other kind of... Uh, uh, interpretations or uses for it, that kind of crap. Okay, so uh, did I just say crap? Wow, I called a rudiment crap. Oh, wow, I'm a bad boy. <laughs> oh, anyway, I'm not in a good mood today, by the way. That's probably why. I'm, I'm fairly, I'm fairly pissed off today. So that's probably why, and if that's the case, sorry. Don't care. That's a drummer for you, right? Now let me go ahead and play this rudiment, and then um, I'll show you what's up, okay? Uh, how does it go? Oh, yeah. I have no idea how that went. No idea. <sighs> but okay. Anyway, here, here's the deal. Basically, a uh, single drag tap is you have a drag and then an accent and tap, right? And in the beginning of this rudiment, when it's slow, when it's this way, The double grace note, this part, has basically no notational value. Then as you get faster and you're doing the... Uh, and you get to this part... Um, uh, then they kind of turn into 32nd notes. So... In my interpretation of playing the rudiment, I like to keep the, the drags tight. I don't like to keep them too tight, sort of like this. You could if you want to. Or you could play the rudiment this way, which I've seen done. Shit. I mean, darn. <laughs> I can, <laughs> I can tell I'm in a bad mood today. <laughs> okay, let me do that again. That was, <laughs> that was funny. And that sort of thing. That's to me. That is not necessarily correct because the way the rudiment is written is not to give uh, the the grace notes actual value. In that in that interpretation, the grace notes are, are given notational value along with the speed of the rudiment. And you know, if you want to play it like that, hey, you know, that's fine. You can do it that way too. I just did. Um, anyway, in order to do that, uh, this rudiment. Uh, one of the things you can practice is you can take that um, the drag out, okay? You know, how does it go? Okay. And you know what this goes back to? The start of the um, what's that thing? The long roll where you accent the second note. Oh no, sir. Oh, well, yeah, we accent the second note. It 
it's the same thing, and then you add the drag. Uh... Something like that. You know what I'm saying. Anyway, let's get through this. I don't want to make it too long. Uh, also, when you do this, do the drag and add a flam for the tap. Okay, now that is sort of fun, and it's a different interpretation of another rudiment, the what? Flam drag, okay? It's sort of this, it's the, the same thing done in a different way. All of this stuff kind of intermixes. One rudiment helps another rudiment. And that is the reason why you need to practice all of them. Because once you get better at one, that will help you get better with another. And this is one of those rudiments that a lot of people really don't really don't think about. You know, you, you always think about the flam, uh, pear diddle, long roll, five stroke, eh, what's that other thing? Single stroke. But you, you never go, ah, uh, how about that... Uh, yeah, single drag tap. Let's do that one. But this rudiment is really important because it gives you so many possibilities with other uh, styles of music and playing and other fun things to do. You know, if you're into doing fun things on a snare drum, especially when you start adding flams in there and making it kind of tough, <laughs> which I'm all about making it tough. <sighs> Uh, let's see. What else can I say about this one? I don't know. I think I've kind of yapped enough. I've already spent about seven minutes of your precious time boring you and saying a curse word. Oh, Lord. So, anyway. Uh, practice that. Have fun with it. I'm still using the... Whatever. The, the, oh, I, I call it the... I'm going to call it now the Marty Special. And um, I just talked to someone about ordering a new snare drum, a uh, marching drum. And I'm not going to say what it is, and because he's still got to call me with a price, because of course it's custom. Because I really like these custom drums. And uh, but I will say it, it will be made of glass. <laughs> yes, like glass, like glass. glass yes and uh, I can't wait for that we'll see how the hell that works out oh I said another curse word oh, 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 oh stop it Jesus that hurt alright I'll uh, talk to you cats later be sure you practice on this one this is a really good one and it'll help with a lot of stuff you have to do or whatever just checking, mm -hmm, just checking my belly see oh god let me Hold it in for a while. All right, guys, have fun. Uh, don't practice too hard, but practice hard enough. And remember, it's just drums. Bye.